Brothers is back in District 17 and today we are standing at Pasteris Park. We are heading to one of the quietest and serene private residential area at Jalan Loyang Bursa. We have a four bedroom triplex penthouse. This unit stands at 2,927 square feet and is so close to the Pasteris Beach that you can have a partial sea view when you go up to the roof terrace. So last but not least, let's check out the master bedroom. So we think today's home tour is going to be quite exciting, so let's go check it out. On my right side is where Lighthouse is and we are easily accessible via the main road Pasir Ridge Drive 3 and you may choose to enter from Pasir Ridge Close, Pasir Ridge Rise or Pasir Ridge Drive 4. The Lighthouse is nearby to TPE and ECP, 10 minutes to Changi Airport. We are just 3 bus stops away from Pasir Ridge MRT Station. And that is where the Cross Island Line is slated to be completed by 2032. We are also 5 minutes walk or 2 minutes drive away from Downtown East Shopping Mall, 5 minutes drive away from White Sands, very close by to Pasiri Central where there are a few coffee shops around and wet market grocery. Direct park connector access to Pasiri's Park, Pongo, Corny Island and with lots of eateries along the way. Before I share with you the facts of the property, let me show you the highlight of this house. What I really love about this skylight is that it really lifts up this entire space right here and also it provides a very spatial feel to this home itself. You don't get this very often in a normal condominium. So this project itself has 51 units and it is a low-rise development with a plot ratio of 1.4. This is a 99 years lease hold which TOPs in 2004 with a healthy balance lease of 70 years. Let's draw out the floor plan analysis of this unit itself. It is a rectangular shape layout. On level 1 itself, there is a living, dining and kitchen area. There's two common bedrooms, one with ensuite and there's another common bathroom. We have the yard and utility as well as the helper's bathroom and the balcony. For level 2, we have two bedrooms, one the master and the other the common bedroom. Both comes with ensuite and balcony. And for level 3 itself, you'll see the jacuzzi and open roof terrace. All in all, all these three levels sums up to 2,927 square feet. As you step through the main door, you'll be greeted by this cosy area which is also spacious because of the high ceiling height of 3.2 meters. And also we have a three-seater sofa which is a good distance towards the TV console. So now onto the balcony, we are overlooking the swimming pool. And towards the right side, we do have a side gate access to Passeries Park. Living and the dining area is a good integration because when you do have friends and families coming over, you can interact with one another. And also, the current setup is a six-seater. Definitely, if you want to put up to an eight or ten-seater, that's no issue at all. So right behind me, we have a centerpiece where you can display your ornament and sentimental items. And we do have storage area as well. Stepping into the kitchen, I would say it's a good flow between the dining towards the kitchen area. We have an L-shaped tabletop right here and if you are doing heavy cooking, you can just close this up so that to prevent the fumes from going into your living area. On this side, we have a tree burner hob and hood and an inbuilt oven just right below. So you can see that there's plenty of storage space right here. Right behind me, we have the washing area and on this side, as you can see, we have large appliances right here. So if you want to do a built-in cabinet, this is a place to do so. Stepping into the yard area, we have the top and bottom cabinets and lots of tabletop space. So here, you can place in your large appliances and this can double up as your wet area because when you're cooking, there is an opening right behind. In the yard area on my left side, we have the helpers WC and towards the back, we have the utility area where you can tuck all your clutters away into this storage area. And 
and towards the common hallway, we have one common bathroom right here which is shared between your guests and the first common bedroom. Let me show you the first common bedroom. Stepping into the first common bedroom, we have this setup which you can put up to a single or a super single. So if you want to have a small study area, definitely this will be the ideal space for it. Right towards this side, we have an inbuilt four panels wardrobe space for your storage needs. Coming into the second bedroom, we have four panels of wardrobe right here. It comes with an ensuite and also stepping into this bedroom itself. The current setup is a queen size bed. Definitely you can put up to a king size with lots of walking space right here with two side tables. Stepping into the ensuite, we do have this wet and dry area separated by this glass casement and I really love this big window right here for ventilation purposes. For the facilities wise, we have the barbecue pit, gym, lab pool, kids playground and sheltered car park for the residents of Lighthouse. Let me pass the time to Nico to share with you the rest of the house and the pricing analysis. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days, no clouds in the sky but so as you head up to the second floor, you'll see that the staircase here is original from developer. This is an open staircase, but if you would like to do what some of the newer condo developments have done, which is install storages at the bottom, I think that's something that you can do to really maximize storage space in the house. So from the staircase, you will enter the second floor landing. So this is a very good space for you to display items. So as you can see here, the owners have put in tables here for them to display sentimental items or even just a space for your piano here if you would like. So this floor is home to one common bedroom as well as the master bedroom. So let's check out the common bedroom. So this is the third common bedroom in the entire unit. So this is a very good space. It's kind of a longer layout, but this is very unique because it has three openings. So you've got the first uh, entrance by the main door. You've also got two other entrances at this side. So this entrance goes into the outdoor terrace space which then leads you up the roof terrace and this store leads you to the staircase outside. This gives a very good dual key concept. So in future if you want to rent this out to another tenant, so what you can do is have your tenant come in from this door so that they don't have to disturb the rest of the family living in the other areas of the house. So on the other end is also where you've got cabinets that have been done. So this is a six panel cabinet that gives you quite a bit of wardrobe space for your clothes and all that. And still quite a bit of space in the centre for you to put in, you know, even a massage chair. So this bedroom also has its own balcony space. So this balcony is not very big, it's not very small. I think it's just a good size for you to just, you know, have a veranda where you can step out and enjoy the sunset view. So this facing is west facing. If you want to convert this to an actual bedroom, what you can do is to have the bed flush against the wall. And you can definitely explore a queen size bed here. You can flush your study table to the other end over there. That gives you quite a bit the walking space around the bed over here. So this bedroom also comes with its own ensuite bathroom. So a pretty good size, got all the amenities that you need. There's also the ventilation window so you don't have to worry about mold. So if you're looking for a seafront or beach resort type of living, you have a few options in Singapore. There's only East Coast Park, Sentosa or Pasir Ris. So if you're looking for a four bedroom in the East Coast area, there are listings going for 2.95 million to 5.7 million at size 1007 to 2007 odd square feet and this is going about 1003 to 2004 PSF. And if you're looking further to Sentosa, four bedders there are going at 3.3 million to 5.5 million with a PSF of 1003 to 2002 and size wise about 2000 to 2006 square feet. And where we're currently at, which is Pasir Ris Beach, we have units asking at 1.39 million to 2.7 million at a square foot area of 1003 to 2001 at a PSF of 1041 to 1375. So if you compare the three areas, you will realize that if you're looking for something that has a seafront or a beach resort type of living, Pasir Ris area still remains one of the most affordable places to go. So if you compare against penthouses that are sized 2000 square feet and above in the vicinity, we have coastal view residences which have listings going for 2.68 million to 2.7 million with a PSF of 1002 odd and this is sized around 2000 to 2001 square feet. We also have a 3 bedder aged water which is sized at 2004 and asking 2.1 million and PSF 875. 
There is also another three bedded Ripple Bay that's sized at 2023 square feet, quantum 2.3 million, with PSS slightly higher at 1001. And last, we have the Palette, which is a five bedder that's sized at 2004 square feet, quantum asking is 2.8 million with a PSF 1001. So, our unit is a triplex, which is really rare in nature and is very highly sought after for the main reason because it has a combined offering of a landed lifestyle that has a lot of space for you to play around with, as well as condo facilities. And lastly, in this area, we have Pasir Ace 8. So this is an integrated development that has hit the news many times. So you must have heard that Pasir Ace 8 has hit a new high in PSF with transactions recording at more than 2,000 PSF with some of the highest transactions at 2.8 million. So if you're wondering if there's a buyer willing to shell out 3 million for an OCR condo, I think Pasir Ace 8 is an example of that. So at this point of filming, the integrated development has more than 90% of units sold. The remaining four bedroom units are asking 2.53 million to 2.54 million for a size of 1004 square feet for PSM asking at 1007. So we think this unit at Lighthouse here is a hidden gem because it hits the trifactor sweet spot. So our unit is size 2927 square feet asking 2.3 million with a PSF of only $785. So this puts the disparity between us and Pasir Ace 8 about 900 to 1000 in terms of difference. And when Pasir Ace 8 TOPs, we think this price disparity is likely to grow even further, which gives the property a lot of buffer for it to appreciate in price. Take a real close look now Uh-uh, assume you'll realize So when you enter the master bedroom on your left is where you've got your walk-in wardrobe with shelving all the way to the top so definitely quite a bit of space and as you enter the master bedroom will be greeted with this side which is honestly one of the nicer bedrooms I've seen so what's nice about this bedroom is that you've got windows on both sides of the room so over here you'll see that it is blocked here so this was actually done to aid in the flow of air and natural sunlight but also to kind of give some sort of privacy by blocking some of the views so that people at the first floor wouldn't be able to see into the master bedroom so at the other end of the bedroom is where you've got the balcony so this is, these are windows that stretches from one end of the room to the other but what's nice here is that the room isn't facing to another neighbouring unit so in the master bedroom you've really got quite a bit of privacy and exclusivity because you are one level higher than your neighbours if you want to have a lounging set like what the owners have done you can do so and you can just really enjoy the breeze and the sunlight coming through so facing wise this is east if you're looking to just chill out here in the evenings have a bottle of wine with your wine chiller over here that's definitely something possible so you'll notice that in this bedroom there are many fixtures if you want to create a feature wall if you need more storage space that's definitely possible right here they already have a console table and you realize even with a console table and a king size bed there's still quite a bit of walking space over here so even if you have a feature wall there's definitely still going to be space for you to put built-in storages in this area as well So going into the toilet, so this is one of my favourite parts of the house actually. So for this toilet, you've got a bathtub as well as a shower area. But what I really love about this toilet is actually the bathtub. So this bathtub is really reminiscent of what you see in beach resorts. So I think this really gives you a very outdoor, indoor type of living. At the opposite end of the bathtub, we've got a shower. So at the top, you also have a ventilation window with the insect screen already installed. So you don't have to worry about insects flying into your bathroom or into your room. So over on this side, you've got a sink, you know, your toilet bowl. You've also got cabinets at the bottom. If you want to build in more cabinets, you can install some behind the mirror as well. So now let's take a look at the roof terrace. You're already on my mind when it gets late. I always read so the third level, which is the roof terrace, is accessible through an outdoor staircase. And you have this little landing area that you can use as a mini garden, as what the owners have done. So it would be really nice for you to have a soak in the bathtub and have a really nice view over here. So at the opposite end is where you have the entrance to the third common bedroom. So that's something that we also showed earlier. So coming up to the third floor, so this is where the roof terrace is. Currently what the owners have done is they put a jacuzzi over here. So you can actually enjoy the sea view that you see in this area of the roof terrace. But if you don't want this and you want to change this to an alfresco dining area, you can choose to put it here and have it sheltered because that's what a lot of the owners here have done as well. And over at the other end, this is also where you have a really nice area here. If you want to use it as an outdoor lounge area, I think that's definitely a good idea. At this angle of the roof terrace, you have this amazing view. You have the partial sea view as well as the trees and the greenery. So I think this is a really nice spot for you to enjoy the peace and serenity of this neighbourhood and just, you know, soak in the sunset views of this area. So if you notice in the middle, this is where the skylight is. So in 
in general, a lot of the houses, they do have skylights, but they're usually quite small. In this case, it stretches quite a bit of distance. So that really brings in a lot of natural light into the house. It makes the unit feel a lot livelier, a lot more open, a lot more welcoming. Lighthouse is truly a hidden gem. It's nestled in a very quiet and serene environment with lush greenery just around. And if you look, it's just Pasir Ris Beach is just minutes away from here. So if you're someone who loves the sun, sand and sea, I think this is a unit you don't want to miss. Plus, we've got the added convenience of the Pasir Ris transformation as well as the upcoming Cross Island Life. And we think that this hits the trifactor sweet spot where we have the space of 2,927 square feet with an attractive quantum of $2.3 million. And it is one of the lowest per square feet in today's market. So if this is what you're looking for, do contact our listing managers. The details are right below. So we've come to the end of our home tour. Do remember to like and subscribe to our Property Lim Brothers YouTube channel. We're also on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. I'm Nicole. Jesslyn, Property, Property Lim Brothers, Brothers, always happy to show you the place. So from the second, so from the staircase, you enter the lift, lift landing. So from the second, <laughs> on this side we have a three burner stove and a hob. <laughs> on this side we have a three burner hood and hob. A uh, hood and hob. Three burner hob and hood. Okay. Before I shoot, <laughs> okay, okay. Before I share with you the facts of the property, okay.